Pas comme ça en anglais. Anna, on va manger. But I'm not allowed. You are. Am I allowed? Am I allowed to watch English TV? No. Yes. It's your revision. You're not allowed. Put the news on, Christophe. Yeah, but basically every single channel is the news. Look, news. It was not on the English. The news. English press. But I'm not allowed. She also has personal information about this residence. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, on the right hand column here, it says where people were born. So we've got somebody who's born in Derbyshire, Kent, whole family from Kent, Berkshire, somebody from Ireland, Oxfordshire. And then here, we've got their rank professional occupation. There's a cloth damper, uh, there's a milliner apprentice, schoolmaster, engine driver of factory, and mm. telegraph mm. course. So we're talking here about artisans, we're talking about uh, people of... Our radar Charlie, you can see the track of these snow showers. They've uh, formed across the North Sea, they've mainly affected parts of Norfolk, but as you can see, they did track southwards, they've affected some of Suffolk. They're losing no, their intensity early. as they travel southwards. So, although there, there will be one or two still around, we can expect a mostly dry night. But the big problem for all of us tonight is as temperatures plummet, it is going to be icy conditions. And if that wasn't enough to contend with, we've also got problems with freezing fog developing later on. Now, this chart here gives you an idea of just how cold it is likely to get tonight. It could get down as low as minus nine in mm. places. So a very cold night indeed as skies start to clear. But just do be aware of one or two snow showers affecting that eastern half of the region. Now, freezing fog is going to be a particular problem for the western half. It will be more patchy across the east, but that will obviously add to what is already quite a treacherous setup if you are out on the roads. And through the morning rush hour, it could really be quite challenging. Uh, now, where we keep the fog, it could linger through much of the morning. So particularly for the western half, that will have quite an impact on the temperatures and they could indeed stay below freezing all day. Further east, perhaps just maybe climbing just above freezing, but most places are expected to stay uh, at freezing. There's a chance of one or two snow flurries across that eastern half of the region. It does look like they'll be much more isolated than we've seen today, but 
places at risk will be sort of Norfolk, Suffolk and Essex. And then another very cold night on the way. Now looking at the pressure set up, we have got this weather front pushing in from the Atlantic. It is going to bring some milder air as it hits the cold air across us. It means for certain there will be some snowfall down in the southwest of the UK. How far it tracks eastwards for us here, it is still a little uncertain, but what does look likely is that we will see some snow showers, and we could see a continuation of those snow showers into the weekend. It looks a little unsettled by the weekend and a little windy, but certainly we are staying uh, at freezing or just below by day for the next few days, and some extremely cold nights bringing us some widespread sharp frosts and ice. Thank you, Thank you very much, Alex. And the message really is be very careful. We both have.